Okay. Now we're going to read Cinderella with a modern twist. Long ago, there lived a beautiful and smart young woman named Cinderella. She was in college, doing a degree in biomedical engineering. To put herself through college, she was cleaning houses. She had an employer who was particularly mean to her because they thought she was illegal. <coughs> but she wasn't. Cinderella never complained, though, because she was nice and her mother taught her to be a good person. One day, an invitation came by messenger. The president and his wife were hosting a ball for all of the smart young ladies of the land, and they were hoping that their handsome son, who was really adult, would really find a smart woman so he wouldn't look so bad. Her employers were very excited about the ball and certain that one of them would be picked as the son's bride. They told Cinderella to get all of their dresses ready, but Cinderella said, I'm just the cleaning lady. I don't know how to sew. I'm going to the ball too, said Cinderella, but her employers didn't want, want her to go because they thought that she was illegal. Customs is going to pick you up, they said. Cinderella just looked at them. Cinderella didn't really have anything to wear to the ball because she'd spent her days cleaning houses and not shopping. But all of a sudden, a nice, lo nice old lady came to the door and said, Would you like me to take you shopping? And Cinderella said, No, I'm not that type of girl. But if you have anything you'd like to give me, I'll take it. The old lady waved her magic wand, and all of a sudden, there was a big coach, a coachman, and four handsome horses. The old lady said, This is if you'd like someone to take you to the ball. Of course, you can be empowered and take yourself, or you could even drive. Cinderella said, thank you very much, but what am I going to wear? The old lady waved her magic wand, and Cinderella was wearing a beautiful dress, which was revealing, but not too much, because you don't want to give away too much in the beginning, you know. Cinderella went to the ball. She danced, and she danced, and she held intelligent conversation, unlike most of the other women. And she even showed people how to do biomedical engineering. The prince, no, sorry, the son of the president, was very, very impressed with her because he had never met anyone as intelligent. He fell in love with her the moment he saw her. They danced, and they danced, and they danced, and by the end of the night, Cinderella had a buzz, but wasn't drunk, because good girls don't get drunk at parties. You never know what they'll put in your drink. All of a sudden, it was midnight, and Cinderella knew she had to go. She didn't want her employers to think that she had, that she had uh, gone to the dance. I must go, she said to the president's son, and she hurried down the palace steps, or the White House steps, excuse me, and she dropped her iPhone. When she got home, or back to the employer's house, they weren't there yet, so they had no idea she had been out. The next day, the president's son went from door to door with his entourage of Secret Service and the iPhone, trying to figure out who could unlock it with the codes and who could uh, prove that it was theirs. When he showed it to Cinderella, Cinderella said, oh, no problem, as she slid her finger over it and typed in all the codes. And the prince was impressed. The prince said, I think we should get to know each other a lot more. And Cinderella said, sure. So they each went and had their own lives, and professionally and personally. And they decided they really didn't like each other, and it wasn't a very good fit. And then the prince actually decided he was gay. So the two of them split up, and instead of getting married, well, I mean, instead of getting married and living miserably ever after, they split up. The prince went off with his partner. It was Washington, D.C., of course, so he could get married. And the Cinderella found someone else to marry who respected her brains, and she lived happily ever after. Of course, after she had to take Prozac. Wow. Yeah, she had to take Prozac and, you know, <coughs> all these other things to keep her even. But, you know, she was really a happy person, and, in fact, she was smart, so that made everything okay. The end. Okay. Okay.